There was a lot of talk over the weekend about how the Trump administration has fared during its first 100 days. But now, let's take a look at what Democrats have achieved over that same period. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer has steadfastly refused to negotiate or compromise with the administration in any way. In a bold statement of principle, Schumer told reporters, quote, I won't, I won't, I won't, no, 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 you can't make me, you're not the boss of me, I won't, I won't, I won't, unquote. Schumer then lay down on his stomach and pounded his fists against the floor while drumming his feet and saying he didn't want to go to bed and it wasn't fair because the Republicans got to stay up late and watch all the good television shows. Schumer finally calmed down when George Soros gave him a big fuzzy check, which he rubbed against his face with one hand while sucking the thumb of the other. He's been napping quietly ever since. On the House side, Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi has had a very productive 100 days. In a speech she made to a potted plant while applying lipstick to her forehead, Pelosi said, quote, President Obama or President Trump, whichever one is the one I'm not supposed to like, has done many stupid things like trying to create jobs when everyone knows that unemployment is the greatest driver of the economy in Peru or whatever country this happens to be. That's why we have to pass a bill to find out what's in it or vice versa, depending on who's in office. What was I saying? Who am I? Unquote. Mrs. Pelosi then swiveled on her heel and strode proudly away until she smacked into the wall, stumbled backwards, tripped over a chair, slid across the floor into the hall, and went bumpity bump down the stairs on her backside until she flew out the front door. At that point, she remarked, quote, boy, that hasn't happened to me since Thursday, unless this is Thursday, unquote. Hillary Clinton spent the last 100 days making important policy speeches, submitting a budget to Congress, and ordering military intervention in Libya until friends explained to her once again that she had in fact lost the election, whereupon she began to whimper quietly and was gently escorted back to bed. And of course, former President Barack, what's his name, spent the first 100 days of the Trump administration yachting with billionaire friends and collecting exorbitant speaking fees to address Wall Street bankers. Former President Obama was overheard telling anyone who would listen, quote, I do think at a certain point you've made enough money, but damned if I can figure out when that is. Personally for me, I'm thinking it'll be about the time I can ski down a mountain of gold coins and hundred dollar bills like Scrooge McDuck while shouting, I care about the poor, ha 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 ha, unquote. Quote. So all in all, it hasn't been a great hundred days for the Democrats, but then think how much worse it would be if they actually were in power. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is The Andrew Claven Show.